Hey guys, Pastor Joel, and it is a Rise and Build prayer night. Super thankful to be with you tonight, excited about our time together, or whenever you're watching this. It could be the day, middle of the night, a year from now, uh, but the reality is that this is a great opportunity for us to pause and stop and pray. Uh, God gave Bar Church a call back in 2000. Uh, 13 to arise and build in September of 13 and then in February of 14 a specific call for land across the way from here over in Westlake um, and again we just believe he is in it and for it and, and, and working through us to accomplish it and so right now um, I'm just going to pray and we've been doing this every Tuesday every Thursday night uh, we switched it from Tuesday to Thursday but but pretty much every single week since 2013 and uh, that's a big deal because we can grow weary we can forget we can we can start to doubt and wonder if God's really going to do it and I just believe he is in fact I know in my heart he is and yet uh, we pause and pray to, to remind ourselves and to acknowledge and tell him, hey, we haven't forgotten that you are going to be faithful. So uh, just want you to, uh, to to pray after I'm done praying in your own way, your own words. Uh, but I'm going to start us off. And today, one of the things that's on my heart is just burden and, and being uh, weary. And uh, so Matthew 11, and Jesus says, anybody that is weary or heavy burden, just come Bring those to Jesus and he'll give us rest. And so I just got a word for anybody today that if you're weary, if you have burdened, if you're heavy laden, if you just got stress in your life, man, bring it to Jesus. Leave it with Jesus. Trust Jesus with it. Sounds simplistic or uh, churchy or um, cliche, but it's just truth. It is just truth. So uh, I'm praying specifically for that as well as for God's uh, calling us to arise and build. So if you pray with me, please. God, today, tonight, right now, we acknowledge you as the giver of every good gift. We acknowledge you as the one who provides, the one who sustains, and the one who can take our burdens and exchange them for your yoke, your teaching, your way that is light. And I just pray, Father, that we would trust you with everything in our lives, uh, the hard things, the heavy things, the hurtful things. And Father, we would trust you with the, the good things and uh, the grace-soaked things. Father, the things that, that just bring us massive joy, we trust you with those too. And so arise and build is one of those things. And yet, Father, I'd be lying if I said, man, I know sometimes it's just hard. It's just you get a little doubting or a little bit uh, impatient with the waiting. Yet, Father, we acknowledge you as in it and for it and the author of it. And so, Father, right now, as I pray for our church's future, Father, would you send us the exact people that we need, uh, that, that you have willed and planned, that, that need us and we need each other? And God, help us to love the ones that are already here well. Help us to to love and, and equip and, and disciple and encourage the ones that you've already sent us. Let us steward and love one another well, the opportunities and relationships that you've given us well. And we know if we do that, Father, we know you have a future for us. You have a plan for us. And we will walk into that in the right time, in the right way, when we're ready. But in the meantime, Father, find us faithful. Find us faithful, God. Lord, I pray for anybody with burdens tonight that they would be released to you in full knowledge that you can handle them. And Father, I pray for us as a church collectively that we would give you the burden of the building, the burden of our future, the you are responsible for what's next in Barra. But we have a part and responsibility as well. And so let us play that, do that, serve that, live that well, Father. God, I love you. I'm so grateful for you. I praise your name. I adore you, Father. And, and wherever we are, whoever is watching, whenever they're watching and praying and engaging right now, I just ask God, 
that if there is people with burdens, that tonight, now, this moment, they would leave those with you and life would be lighter and more authentic life. Um, there's a huge difference, God, between toiling in the garden and tending the garden. And I pray that we would tend and not toil. I pray, Father, we would trust and not take. And I pray, Father, that we would walk in accordance with your word and your will and your ways, knowing that your ways are not our ways, but they're higher and they're more beautiful. They're bigger and better than we can even dream or imagine. So we commit to you again right now, Father. We stop, pause, pray, and, and say, yes, we're in it. We love you, we need you, and we thank you. And it's for the great and good and strong and beautiful name and through the beautiful name of Jesus that I pray for a church that I love. Amen. I love you guys. Have a great evening and continue to keep it praying.